Today, once again, visibility appears unlimited, and they will look for Vinny to go full throttle with a flight plan geared for a divisional title. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood of the Meadowlands where the 7-4 New York Jets will host the 2-9 Carolina Panthers. The Jets are flying high in a three-way tie for first in the AFC East, and they desperately want to avoid a repeat of last year's late-season collapse. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Ray Bentley along with Ron Pitts, and the Jets have been beating winning teams, but they've been losing <laughs> to teams you'd think they'd beat, yeah. like a 2-9 and nine Carolina team. Yeah, talking to Bill Parcells the other day, he said, I'm not sure how the team is going to play, but I think his players have a better idea. Keith Byers said it best. He said, this team has matured, and we're not going to get ambushed by Carolina like we did against Indianapolis. You know Vinny Testaverde, he's playing better. Keyshawn Johnson stepped his game up, but the guy that's really making it happen for him, I think Curtis Martin. Last two games, over 100 yards, and he's giving Vinny Testaverde something he hasn't had in a while, and that's a consistent running game, and it's taken a lot of pressure off of Testaverde. Carolina has won two of their last four. The receivers are playing outstanding, and their resurgence has mirrored that of their tight end, Wesley Walls. Yeah, and Wesley Walls, he stretches your defense vertically, but he also does it horizontally, and he opens things up for everyone else on the team. And I think that's the key for Carolina today. They've got to be able to sting the Jets down the field, on the perimeters, passing, early. They also have to have good play out of their special teams to create good field position, something they haven't had. As far as the Jets are concerned, it's about that home field advantage. They feel they now have that. They've, they've earned it, and the crowd will be behind them. If they get off to a quick start, it will get loud, and it's going to be hard on the Panthers all day. This is only the second meeting between these two teams. Carolina got its first franchise win ever in 95. We'll have kickoff coming up after a word from your local Fox station. You're watching Fox NFL Sunday. The return of the week is brought presentation of the National Football League. It's Native American summer in East Rutherford, New Jersey, the Meadowlands. The forecast clear and sunny. Now, the most exciting play in football these days seems to be the coin toss. Here was ours this afternoon. Oh, wow, it's in the air. NC calls. Tails it is. New York has won the toss. You want to receive. You want to defend that goal? No controversy yeah, yeah. there. You know what I used to do? I used to wait till it got two inches from the ground and then say, heads. <laughs> Go really yeah, try yeah, to quick them with yeah, it. Yeah, try to quick them with it. Well, no heads, tails calls <laughs> here today. The Jets win the toss. They will receive. John Casey set to kick it deep to Leon Johnson and Aaron Glenn. We are underway. In East Rutherford, Leon Johnson. Johnson up to the 30-yard line. A 22-yard return. New York Jets offense fifth in the NFL, led by a resurgent Vinny Testaverde at quarterback 7-1 as a starter this season with New York. Up front, Jumbo Elliott, Todd Berger, Kevin Mawai, Matt O'Dwyer, and Jason Fabini, the rookie. The backs for New York, Curtis Martin and Keith Byers. The receivers, Keyshawn Johnson and Wayne Krebet. The tight end is Kyle Brady. That looks like Ryan Sutter, the rookie. They just picked him up this week. Actually pulled him up from the practice squad, and, and they've had injuries. Unbelievable have the Panthers in the defensive backfield. He was scheduled to play some nickelback today. Poor guy. Go down on your first kickoff. You're all excited about your first play and then get blasted and have to be helped off the field. The Jets will start in good field position, first and 10 from the 30 yard line. There he is right there. He just looked like he missed that tackle. Got his arm. A little something Got his there. arm torn off. <laughs> Carolina blitzes on the first play. This is Quebec, a five yard pickup from Vinny Testaverde. Let's look at this Carolina defense. 28th in the NFL, 29th in pass defense. Sean Gilbert, Les Miller, and Jason Peter, the men up front. The linebackers, a very active group. Veterans Greg Lloyd and Kevin Green on the outside. Barrow and Brady in the middle. Lofton and Davis are the corners. Alexander and Richardson are the safeties. They're looking for more plays out of that safety position. Second down and five, Keith Byers split down to the left. 
And this will be Curtis Martin. Martin close to a first down up near the 40 yard line before Jeff Brady can lasso it. It's funny talking to Bill Parcells this week. He said, I'm not sure how this team is going to play. You know, we have some youth. We have some questionable areas as far as talent is concerned. If we can win today, that will put us over the top. And I think this team will do well. But if we don't, we're going to be in that back and forth seesaw struggle. And like we talked about in the open, right, you know, they play well against the good teams with the good record, but it's the teams like Carolina that have tripped them up. Part of the maturation process of a young football team as Byers goes in motion on first and ten. Testaverde setting up the screen. Martin stays alive, breaks a tackle, he's across midfield. Curtis Martin. Wow. Breaks another tackle wow. all the way down to the 37 yard line. A 23 yard gain before Jeff Brady can chase him down again. Curtis Martin is trying to put that play on an NFL film highlight reel, and he's going to do it. And what Curtis Martin has brought to this team is a consistent run game. Now, this is nothing but an extended handoff, just a screen. And that's something the Jets have been running very well lately. But Curtis Martin takes a lot of pressure off of the things that Vinny Testaverde has to do. And so when it's time to pass, everything's opened up. I mean, that's just great field awareness, vision, and hustle down the field by Martin. New York Jets start their first drive, moving the football. Brady goes in motion. They'll run the counter to Martin. Martin slashes through the middle. Dragging Carolina defenders up for another first down, a gain of 11. A great ear hole shot rate by Kyle Brady coming across on the trap. Unbelievable. I mean, these are the kind of plays. Watch right here. Watch Brady 88. Bam, he's going to find Brady. Brady on Brady. A little Brady bunch action there. I mean, you look at this offensive line, and one thing you notice is that they run on the perimeter. You saw O'Dwyer. He was out there pulling. They get a lot of speed outside, and they get great blocks like that. Fifth play of the drive for the Jets. First down and 10. Testaverde on the draw to Martin. Curtis Martin up near the 20 yard line. Les Miller, the nose guard, along with Sean Gilbert combined for the tackle. Hey, a good matchup today. Jason Fabini, the rookie, going to work outside on the linebacker Kevin Green. And Bill Parcell said, I'm not sure what this kid is going to do, but I know one thing he's smart. He won't make the same mistake twice. And I'll tell you what, Ray, he's a big guy. I mean, he's go, he goes six, seven, about 312. And that time he got a hold of Kevin Green and uh, basically nullified it. Is that before dinner or after? I don't think it matters. Well, I'm sure it fluctuates. <laughs> Second and four. The toss to Martin. Cuts back. Sean Gilbert gets him. It is close to a first down again for the Jets. Sean Gilbert played his best football last week, according to coach Dom Capers. Yeah, and that's going to be another good matchup. Actually, a matchup that uh, Bill Parcells said he was worried about. Working on Todd Berger on the other side there for the Jets. Sean Gilbert has had a rough start here with Carolina. I mean, taking a year off last year, came in, hasn't played real well, been under a lot of criticism. They need better play out of him. Just short of the first down, third and one. Curtis Martin gets that first down up the middle. First thing you notice is the Jets are coming out in a lot of different formations. You, know, you saw off the bat here, they've had a different adjustments, a lot of motions. And that's one of the things that they've been able to do that have really confused defense. And it spreads the defense out, and it makes one thing easier, and you know what that is, running the football. Seven play, 55 yards so far on this opening drive of the ball game. Carolina has been a fast starting team three out of the last four weeks. This week the Jets are the fast starters. They'll run the counter again. Curtis Martin. He'll get stopped. Greg Lloyd got him in the backfield. He avoided Lloyd and Jason Peter gets him down. Now there's a name that you haven't heard from in a long time. And Greg Lloyd right here. And he's fighting back off that knee injury he had. And he's had his moments, but that's the kind of action that they need out of him. You know, he's taking the place of Lamar Lathan, who went down earlier in the season. And they've got to get better play out of their linebackers. The linebackers in Dom Capers' defense, any Dom Capers' defense, even when he's up at Pittsburgh, 
has been the key thing. Greg Lloyd, a five-time Pro Bowler. Second and 13. Keyshawn Johnson goes across the set in motion. Testaverde to throw. Over the middle to Johnson. He can't hang on to it. Mike Barrow and Brent Alexander on the coverage. You'll notice the Jets will put Keyshawn Johnson inside a lot, and he's been able to come down with those balls and be effective. In fact, last week, Johnson was known for lobbying in the huddle about calling his number and calling his play. He wrote a book about that, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I believe so. Just give him the uh, ball one way or another. He's been getting it so far this season. Third down and 13. Big third down play for the New York Jets. Three wides in for Testaverde. Johnson and Byers in the backfield. This will be Leon Johnson. Johnson with a seam up the middle, but he won't get the first down. Stopped it at the 12. Yeah, I, I think Bill Parcells played that one safe. He had the drive, wanted to get the points. And you remember, maybe he didn't. I can see he's looking there. There might have been a mix-up in the call. Went to the chart. Said, hey, look at <laughs> this. Said, Wait a minute. Supposed to be. But you know what? Last week against the Oilers, they went down the field twice early and only came away with three points. That bothered him. He said, if we go down the field, we got to make sure that we get points. John Hall will come on to attempt the 30-yard field goal. Whoa. The kick is up, and it is good. Sneaks inside the left upright, and the Jets draw first blood. They lead Carolina three to nothing. 